So we've seen the facts. Suck up water, shampoo carpets and shampoo hard floors. But now it is time to look at what I imagine 95% of these were ever used for. Dry use. Let's see how it does. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? So, possibly the last part in the Vax 121 series is good old fashioned dry use. What I imagine most of these were used for, I know it's what my childhood bomb was. I have noticed though, taking this out of the airing cupboard where it's been drying since the hard floor washing video, that there's something awful on there. I don't know if it's leaking, some of the glue might be melting from within there, but hey ho, this will need a good refurb after this so it can go away nicely, so we need to fit a bag. There we go, we need to fit the filter, which I haven't ironed yet, oh, because I haven't touched it since you've put it together right at the start of this little series. And we need to put the top on. we go, we'll plug the hose in, we'll put the wands on, marvellous. Now, we all know how these work and you've seen it before when we first started doing this, but let's have a look at the Power Plus head. Now, these aren't in my experience, that great. I'll be honest, it's nice to have a box example, even if it's been used, but it's got fairly long bristles. I mean, they're not short, stubbly things. They are quite soft, though, which isn't possibly the best. I mean, you can lift up that hood there, that hood, that flap there, and see the turbine, so that's what spins round as you can see it spins the brush roll very slowly indeed so that's there it's got this very floppity neck and an adapter for high or low pile we shall have it on a low pile for this carpet which has pretty much non-existent pile really Lovely. Right. so we'll undo the cable Plug it in. Sound particularly healthy, does it? That wasn't spinning. Then, um, guess I have to crack it open and see what its problem might be. Not gonna lie, this is a little bit unplanned. So we'll take a screwdriver and we'll undo these screws. One. I don't know. I don't think these are made by Vax. The words Swiss made on the box denote that, although it doesn't actually say who did make it. it might say inside. Let's have a look. I know you've been, I, I've seen this style. Well, it says made in Switzerland there as well. I've seen this style on other machines and I've seen millions of cheap pattern parts turbo nozzles with this sort of design so I think although this might be the first mainstream variant of it 
it's by no means a fax made device. Right, so opening it up, nothing seems immediately obvious to me. I mean, that belt's very loose. In fact, let's have that off. And I'll show you the, it's a wooden brush roll with two end caps that clip in either side. We've then got the turbine here, which spins around these metal brackets. I haven't got the oil on me, so I can't really give it a go. And then this belt, which almost looks a bit stretched to me. That bit pops out from there just because, yeah, I'll be honest, I can't see anything. Ooh. Apart from there, look, there's a bit of wear to that casing, so something has been jumping about. Let's see if we can improve this slightly. So that, I think, just goes in there. So that spins okay. We'll pop the belt on. I think I don't think. Let's see what state the end caps are in. No, that's very clean. There's a bit of transit grease on there. I don't think this has seen much. It's, it's been used. It's the most used out of all of the kit that came with this box. But I don't think it's seen excessive use. We'll pop that on there. And we'll clip those in. In fact, that's a little bit better. When I opened it, that clip there wasn't in right. And I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping really that, that <coughs> oh, excuse me, that is the cause of our issues. So we'll pop that back on. The whole thing bounces up and down like anyone's business. So. Let's screw this back up. Like so. I think it's there. I haven't put a screw in yet. Yes, it is. And we'll leave it there. We'll just give it a quick check. And that seems to now be working fine. So I think we've gotten away with that. For some reason, that's just popped itself out of alignment. Right, let's raise you back up then. So I've raised you up and put lots of porridge oats on the floor. So also has lots of dust. I'm gonna get the standard carpet nozzle and we'll see how well this does. <laughs> Not too bad, really, although it's now raining out porridge oats where it's all flicked itself up inside of it, but not too bad. It did push them around a little bit. Now let's see how the Power Plus cope with the same mess. Go okay, zoom you into roughly the same angle. <sighs>
Now, if anything, that's worse. You can see here, there's still left lots of dust, and look at the state underneath that. So, weirdly, enough, well, not weirdly enough, I sort of expected that, but the straight suction nozzle did better than the Power Plus. It also snowplowed something funny. If I just get a load of rice krispies, in fact, we'll just leave them there, shall we? It just pushed the whole flipping lot straight up. Barely any went up. So yeah. Turbo brush isn't that fantastic compared to the normal brush, but we may as well not stop there, because here I have its much younger cousin, that fell, its much younger cousin, which has some dirt in its bin. So, we'll get that out. It's not an awful lot though, is it, to be honest. But here in the corner, just out of shot, I have the Mila S7 still because I haven't done anything with it yet and it has a very full bag and if we tear its bag open because it tears open incredibly well even though it's a genuine bag its bag from 12 vacuums in 12 months Last month's 12 vacuums, in fact DC24 still going well, although by the time this video goes live you've probably seen marches already. I won't ruin the surprise though. Now that's an awful lot of actually very compacted fluff. Very compacted indeed. So I'm going to spread this around and we'll see if the backs can cope with this. <coughs> Gosh. That of times Mr. Roger does all this, Mr. Ibeja. He's not going to live for much longer, is he? Right, now obviously if I go ploughing any sort of floor tool through the middle of this, it's not going to go very well. So I am going to put, get the big bits up with the backs. <laughs> Go. I've, I've left it a few bits. We'll stick with the Power Plus head for now, see if it can redeem itself. <laughs> and no, it hasn't. In fact, it's blocked itself right up. I can shake all the blockage out. Oh god. You're not doing very well, are you? You can just look pretty, I think, in the future. I think that was the issue. There's a bit of foil. Let me just spin this out. That is, I'll be honest, useless. They are not very good. However, let's see if the normal head improves matters. <laughs>
Seems that the, uh, the the straight suction head is much better than the non-straight suction head. I'm just going to very naughtily put the bag top back in the meter because I've just kicked kicked it this door and this door is very fragile as it is. And that can go over there to go in the bin. So yes, straight suction wins the day over non-straight suction. However, it should have coped with it quite well, especially with a HEPA flow bag. And as you can see, the filter is still spotless. This bag is quite full. And, oh, a, a bit of dust leakage has occurred though. Although I think that's possibly more down to this bit here than this bit here. In fact, we'll take this off now and I shall, I might save it. I might start getting my own little mini bag of filth going. Won't be to the same standard as Mr. Ibasiax, but I sort of favor the Mr. Hoover Lux's method with his little bags of filth. Oh, come on you sod, there we go. Close that up there. Oh, I appear to be bleeding. That's nice. So, yeah, still perfectly, perfectly good for daily vacuuming. So, this is what these would have been used for. Or clean the car. Oh, the dust on that. Yeah, these would have been used for DIY garage use, I imagine. But I know my grandmother's one of these sits in their garage oh, for the cars doesn't get used in the house anymore I can't I'd be very surprised if there were any of these still being used for actual daily vacuuming but there we go my Vax 121 it's now going to be refurbished cleaned polished and put back in its box for another day now that I've shared it with you now so thank you very much for watching this little four-part mini series I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you soon. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.